Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the week of July 24th, 2023. It is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy, the near future, and we will clarify that and then get some messages from the universe or guidance for you. And if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing, hitting that like button. And if you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, let's see what's going on for you guys over this next week. So the overall energy, we have the magician in reverse. I feel like this is a time of releasing, meaning let go, let God is kind of the feeling. When the magician's in reverse, it's not necessarily that you're not manifesting because we're always consistently doing so. I just think there's a need to let go of the outcome is really what Spirit's saying. It's like, just release it and don't stay so focused onto it. I feel like your energy's been there and you've been wanting to create things. Um, and of course, like I said, we're always manifesting. But this is like a time where you take a break and you just kind of allow things to start showing up for you. Let's see what happened in the recent past. We have the Two of Pentacles in reverse, the moon. Yeah, because it, it does feel like you're a little bit in the dark about how things are going to turn out. So you may have been a little stressed out about it. Now, the Two of Pentacles in reverse, to me, would say that back and forth energy that you were feeling. It's kind of like, I don't have any control over this. I don't feel like I know which direction something is going to go. And it's almost like you were intentionally put in a space of not knowing, which was creating some kind of stress. In the current energy, it's the same message. Two of Wands in reverse with the temperance. Clearly, I feel like Spirit's trying to say, have some patience and don't focus on the outcome. Because the Two of Wands is looking into the future, wondering how things are going to turn out. Temperance in reverse, again, is in reversal with the Two of Pentacles and Temperance, both being energies of going back and forth about something. And in this case, it's kind of a feeling of, I don't have control over this. I'm not exactly um, being really patient. So I want to say not only be patient with yourself as you're going through this, because it feels a little frustrating, but trust that what you've been working on or manifesting is going to come to fruition. Not everything that we want always happens in our lives, but it doesn't mean that what you have are meant to experience isn't going to happen. It definitely, weirdly, with all these messages seemingly um, feeling kind of, not negative necessarily, just not on top of the world, it still feels very positive. So it's leading you into something. It's just asking you to release that control over the outcome. And then we have the Four of Swords. So yes, it's something that you're thinking about, no doubt. If I feel like you're a little bit in your head about what's going to happen and how the future is going to look. So let's get into the near future and see what's... There you go. So there's your answer. Because this is obviously the Aces are new beginnings. But this is a time when I feel like you need to take a step back and ask yourself, are you as passionate about the things that you were intending to manifest in the past as you are now meaning are they truly the things that you feel fired up about because that's what wands are about they're about being fired up being excited really having a passion behind what you're doing and it's coming to you so if you're not aware of what this is going to be and you still feel a little bit like you're philandering then this is spirit's way of saying it's coming and I feel like with that hand reaching out of the cloud, it's almost as if this comes out of the blue. Like one day you wake up and you're like, I know, I know, I know exactly what to do. I know exactly what steps to take. And I'm really excited about this. And then the Knight of Swords, great. So you get a message. The energy is really pushing forward and it's going to happen very quickly. So where you may have felt a little stagnant, unsure, even a little bit impatient and frustrated or stressed, here you go in the near future with this rushing energy. So somebody's either going to um, offer you something. You're going to get a message that's going to help indicate the next move. That's going to help you into this feeling of, okay, I'm ready. This is a new energy. I have a new outlook. I'm re 
focusing in a place where I know I'm most driven, where I feel the most passionate. The Knight of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so in a way, this is kind of like, well, I hold on to this. I hold on to this deeply because it's very important to me. So I also want to say keep things close to the vest, meaning you may want to keep any information about your next steps to yourself. It's very important. Now, if some of you get... This is interesting. So it's it's as if you're going to get a message that's going to have something to do with either your finances, something that you need to keep to yourself. If you get news and you're really excited about it, you want to share it with the people you care about. But in this case, if it has to do with money, I'm going to say keep it to you because people have a tendency, not for all of you, but you may have felt this recently, people have a tendency to come towards you because you're so stable. And maybe they've asked for help or they want something from you. And I feel like this is spirit saying, just be careful of that because you have a tendency to be very successful in life, even if you're not quite where you want to be at this moment. And if you have reached that, then you understand what I'm saying. People have a tendency to look to you because you have that stability. So they may need or want something from you. So just be cautious of that moving forward, especially when this information comes in. So... The challenge is the chariot in reverse, feeling like something's not moving forward, like you're never going to get there, but you are. Let's see when we clarify, because I feel like there's a lot more that wants to come out. All right, so with the magician in reverse, what messages do we have for Virgo? So we have the strength card. So they're asking you to have the courage to wait this out. And you probably, I mean, listen, I've thrown things at the wall. I've screamed at spirit guys. I've, I've been in that place. And if that's where you've been recently, it's taken a lot of energy, a lot of strength to push forward. Now, I will say that there's also a feeling of Leo season, which by the way, we will have shifted into in this week. So it makes sense. Something in Leo season is going to shift for you. Where had you been feeling a little bit stressed out before, they're indicating, okay, that courage to take a step into something new is going to happen during Leo season. Now, if this is coming in and you have to be really strong and you have to keep things away from other people, that may be hard too. It may take a lot of strength to do that. The three of pentacles. Okay, interesting. With the three of pentacles, there's some kind of recognition from other people. But this could also just mean some kind of collaboration comes about. But whatever it is, it feels very successful. You have your hands. It's like you have your eye on the prize and there's still other energies floating above you, still other opportunities that are there. And it it feels like when these things come together, they all start to make sense. So you could have something going on with other people in work. Um, it could be some friends where you get together. I just heard you may spend some money and want to go traveling. You want to go do something fun. And it's easier when you split it with other people so it's not so expensive. That's totally a side note. There's something about collaboration that's coming up for you. The Queen of Wands. Okay, why are you questioning yourself? In this case, you may have felt like, well, I'm not as good as I hoped I would be. Or I'm not in that place. So there may be a little bit of a feeling of insecurity or not feeling really good about yourself at the moment in the overall energy for this reading, but it doesn't mean that that's going to last. It's only a, a week out of the entire month. I just feel like there's some uncertainty there and that could be what's creating this stress too. So it'll resolve itself. So stick with it. If it's been hard to get through, I get it, but you, you're you going to overcome that. The two of pentacles with the moon, we have the eight of pentacles. So definitely keeping focused on your work and continuing to work really hard through this energy, whatever this is that's been challenging you, it could be hard. And maybe that's where your primary focus has been in the recent past. It may be stressful because you've been overworking, but there's the idea that if I can't control something, at least I know that I can focus in this area of my life. So the moon and the nine of swords, we have the world. I get it. Again, this is that feeling of, is anything ever going to change? Am I going to get to the place that I want to get? This is the take your hands off the wheel and trust energy once more. 
the two of wands in reverse with temperance in reverse, the 10 of swords. That's a feeling of being done. So frustrated that you don't have much choice but to let go. There could be some betrayals that you felt as well. And maybe you've been processing that energy too. You've been thinking things through about where you had felt like this person did me wrong or I've, and I'm just done. I'm done with dealing with that type of energy. Or you're just done with focusing so much on how things are going to turn out. Temperance in reverse with the four of swords. We have the three of cups in reverse. So right now, current energy, you may not feel like going out there and doing a whole lot of celebrating. Collaboration, work, definitely a focus. Going out and being really social, I'm going to say it's probably not there. Maybe you still kind of feel like you want to keep to yourself with the Four of Swords and kind of think things through. So it's just a processing week. The Ace of Wands with the Knight of Swords, and then we have the Two of Pentacles. So here where it was in the reverse, now it's in the upright. I'm telling you, that's when things are going to start balancing out. When this gets started, this new start and this information that comes in, there's a happiness there because you feel like things finally are getting to the place that you want them to. So this, yes, it could be financial. And if something comes in for you, it puts you in a place where you feel stable again. The ship is behind him and he's not looking at that because he's trusting that what he has that has shown up is enough to create that feeling, that happiness and joy that he has from being balanced. All right, the Knight of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. We have the Five of Swords. And I love this because that means you're pulling back from feeling like you have to fight your way through things. You can hold on to what's important to you. Trust that things are going to come in. It's like this restores some faith. That there are changes that can happen even when we feel really frustrated or we feel like it's just been standing still for such a long period of time. The challenge here with the chariot in reverse, the five of wands is in the upright. So it may have felt like you've had either some drama that has been around you that you've been dealing with, but you you just don't want to continue in it. It's a challenge for you to move away from it. Now, this is also learning valuable lessons. And this might be Spirit's way of kind of tapping you on the back and saying, have you learned this yet? Because you won't move forward. And the challenge is once you learn that, you then can move forward. But it's been a little bit of a test for you. And I can see where it can be a little hard to get through this. And I want to keep saying the same thing. It's like you're screaming at your guides going, what else do I need to learn? How can I get past this? When the time happens, it's going to happen. That's where astrology comes into play, where you can kind of get a feel for what the energies are and how they're going to shift. The 17th of this month, when we shifted the north and south node, it's going to affect everybody in a different way. I would definitely check that out and see where those placements are in your chart and how that's going to affect you for the next year and a half. All right, so let's get a couple of messages, maybe some advice. What do you have for Virgo? What's the advice over this next week? You keep hearing the same thing. Keep your eye on the prize. Okay, the four of wands. This is happiness and joy and celebration. So remember when I said that you, there might be a trip? There's that tent. You could be sharing an Airbnb with someone or you're going to go do something and have some fun because these people are celebrating. It could be an outdoor event depending on where you live. But something really fun is coming and they want you to relax into the energy and have a great time. Next, we have the Two of Swords. A part of you might feel a little pulled in different directions right now. She's blindfolded. It's like, I don't know. Should I do these things? Should I not? Now, the Three of Cups where you weren't feeling like celebrating, the Four of Wands is coming out to say, just relax into what comes towards you. If, if somebody comes up and says, hey, let's plan this trip, you may be like, mm, I'm not really sure. I'm kind of in my, my head about some things, but I think it would be good for you. So if you get offers that are beyond next week, I would consider them. And then we have the devil in reverse. So if there's any question about the intention or how it's going to go, if you're fearing that things might be challenging or there might be some toxicity in the situation, I don't think it's going to be bad. I think there's going to be a lot of really good energy there. So I'd go with it. And then we have temperance in reverse saying, don't think too long about it. That is your card of impatience. Like, don't worry about it. Don't think about it. Just make decisions and make them quickly. 
especially when opportunities come towards you. And they kept wanting me to pull more cards. So the fool is saying, just fall into it. See how she's falling back and trusting that everything's going to work out just fine. I do want to say there's something around your home that's going to be fun. So once you get past the energy of next week, you're going to be falling into more fun times. But they want you to let go and just go with the flow the best that you can. If you can focus on allowing yourself to do that, um, although you may be primarily focused on, on work and getting things done, doesn't mean that in other areas of your life you can't just relax into it and kind of go with it as hard as it may be because I know. I know it's hard for Virgos. You're very grounded. You get things done. You're not people who mess around. So kind of leaving it up to the universe can be challenging. Okay, this card wanted to come out. So I was just going to take one card from the Lover's Oracle. It says, friendship, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Some of you needed to hear that. And then this one wanted to pop out as well. New beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. I'm going to take that because that goes along with exactly the passion that we saw in this new beginning that's coming. Let's get one more card for you from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Whoa. Ah, ah, funny. They flipped the cards over and they didn't want me to take the top one, but they wanted me to take this one. So there's some feeling, there's some shift, and this is going to feel like a new life. I know that sounds kind of dramatic, but it could be. It could be that you suddenly start feeling like, okay, this is my new life. I'm not going to have constant thoughts about the future. I'm just going to focus on what's happening right now. Allow myself to think through these things, but shift into this new energy that's trying to come in here. You could be 39, born on the 3rd, the 9th, or the 12th of the month. I would look at August 12th as being a date that's going to be significant. That's standing out strongly to me. So just get prepared because whatever is shifting is going to bring you into... A new experience. And then they're showing me a change in the wind. They're wanting me to pull a lot more cards for you from these. So just trust that there's some kind of change. And that represents home. So something around your home could be changing. Maybe something new and exciting. And the 12th. And that's the number 12. Like I said, there's something about the 12th that's coming up. So you could be born on the 12th. The 1st, the 2nd, or the 3rd. But the 12th of August is going to be very significant for some of you. All right, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate you all. And if you would like a personal reading, as I mentioned before, info's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.